They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left all my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression. It's all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems. What's going on, people? It's the Xbox. 448 and guys this uh this video has been a couple days coming um i know you know people who follow my channel stuff like that you definitely want to hear what i have to say about the halo infinite gameplay reveal and i am gonna go in and let you know uh what i think about this very kind of like very like quickly i, I want to let you know why this game looks the way it looks and and for the most part <laughs> you know it's really weird that even digital foundry actually agrees with one of the one one of my reasonings here when it comes to this game now for people who don't know uh last week on thursday we got the xbox game showcase where they they went in and they showed a bunch of games going to the series x and of course because it's xbox you know also to pc um, this game right here will also be available on the Xbox One family of devices as well. And, uh, so here we go. What you're seeing right now, the cutscenes, I gotta say, they, to me, they look really good. Um, it, the, the pilot looked really weird in the beginning, sitting in the pilot seat, having the, the kind of like different environmental lighting going through, uh, the windows of the, uh, of the cockpit. But, uh, I gotta say all in all. You know, Master Chief, um, his armor is growing on me. And, and the reason why I say that is because I'm a big Halo 5 fan. Uh, I like the Halo 5 multiplayer. I even like kind of like the design of the Forerunner structures, stuff like that. You know, Halo 4, Halo 5, I really got into it. I, I was really digging the library and all, all that good stuff. But um, as you can see, Master Chief is going out onto the Halo ring right here. And, and this is where a lot of people kind of were like well that that's that's it this is pretty much the graphics now first off to me i think the environment looks incredible you know you saw the little animals running around there's going to be actual like wildlife in in these scenarios as well so a as you're fighting um the banished and whatever other enemies there are uh you know you're gonna have wildlife that you might have to contend with as well of course what you saw there was kind of like you know your little uh uh, I don't know, Halo bunnies or, or, or whatever you want to call them, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's there's like predatory animals, stuff like that in this world as well, which is definitely going to be interesting. But in terms of how this game looks and, and you know, I've been kind of like fighting a battle for years uh, when, you know, 343 took over the, the Halo franchise. They came out with Halo 4. Um, of course, Halo 5 as well. I, I've been fighting uh, kind of like a battle within the Halo community. There is a, a, a rift between the Halo community when it comes to Halo games, you know, ever since 343 took over. Um, and uh, there's a part of that community that wants old Halo. They want old Halo. And, and I think a lot of the aesthetics here are 343, like... That, that community, that old Halo community, catching the attention of 343 Industries. Um, if you notice, I know a lot of people, you know, talking about the trees and stuff like that. You can definitely see that there is a Halo 1 vibe going on with this game. Now, the funny thing is, uh, throughout this kind of like battle between old school Halo, new school Halo... Uh, I, I, I kind of looked at it from the old school Halo point as an excuse. I, I feel like those old school Halo gamers that are like, you know, they don't like running, uh, they don't like clambering, all, all that good stuff. There were certain strategies in like, say, Halo 3 that when it comes to the multiplayer, uh, there were certain strategies people got used to using people really liked using they liked taking advantage of other people When it came to those strategies of course with Halo 4 and Halo 5 coming out and 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 especially Halo 5 You know building up that that kind of like speed of the multiplayer these these gamers couldn't use those same strategies anymore And I think they really got upset and they they started like screaming out for old-school Halo 
uh, you're getting old school Halo here. You're getting kind of like that that sense of exploration that you got from Halo One. Uh, you're definitely getting the aesthetic of Halo One. So, you know, when it comes to the old school guys, of course, you know the 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 sprinting and the clambering are still in there, which I still see people complaining about. All right, but when it comes to kind of like um the atmosphere the look the environment uh you can tell 343 definitely listen to the old school halo player base now when it comes down to it uh you know people are talking about the player models of course craig the all-powerful brute named craig which has been invading twitter probably facebook as well I i'm really embracing that i think the craig memes are are absolutely incredible um, I'm creating a whole storyline with Craig that he is pretty much the Chuck Norris of the video game industry. I'm having a lot of fun with the whole Craig thing. Uh, but when it comes to like the, the player models, textures, stuff like that, um, it's funny how Digital Foundry, you know me and me and Digital Foundry don't agree on a lot, right? Uh, but they came out with a video talking about the lighting in this game and a lot of the detail that you would see, um, you know, on the ca characters, uh, you know, light play on the player model, stuff like that. It, it looks like this was all made for basically ray tracing. And, and what you're seeing right now, of course, is not ray tracing. Um, it is actually an older implementation, an older kind of like lighting effect. And I think the reason why they're doing the older lighting effect is to get the the most of the game out of like the xbox one xbox one s um I, you know make sure that it still has stable 60 frames per second frame rates stuff like that so you know i know this this game was kind of it, it was it was running on a pc with the specifications for series x but without the ray tracing involved which uh, again 343 said that that will come in a patch after the launch of the game and I, i'm really disappointed by that but with them using that older lighting effect you're you're not getting you're not getting the detail and the pop that you would get if there was that newer lighting effect that ray tracing effect ray tracing can dramatically change the look of a game to pen, depending on uh its utilization and how much they put into it are you going full path tracing are you only ray tracing um you know puddles and reflections there there's many different levels to using ray tracing in a video game and i feel like when you look at the gameplay that you're seeing here um it's gonna look a lot better with ray tracing and uh again i am completely disappointed that this game is not going to release with that next gen feature um there was a few things i was really skeptical about like why are you using a pc to run this and i think the reason why they were using a pc to show this gameplay is because without the ray tracing they didn't want that negative effect into the series x like that that negative kind of like uh oh this is what it's really gonna look like on the series x but i i think they want to show you know that ray tracing and stuff like that um you know the game with all of its implementation running on the series x but you know again here we go this is this is the old school halo gamers catching the ear of the developers having the developers go back and kind of uh bring back what they what they thought was was the halo one kind of like the halo one feel and and you know i'm excited i'm actually excited to get back more into exploration on on this whole thing and of course you know the more kind of like open world aspect of this game uh does definitely have me i i guess you could say intrigued uh i definitely I'm, I'm interested to see exactly what i can explore how deep that goes all that good stuff um but with just the looks i can see a lot of promise here uh, again the environment looks incredibly dense the the addition of wildlife and you know for people who don't like it if you're old school 
in terms of the Halo community. If you are all about Halo 3 is the best, they need to go back to that and stuff. Well, they listen to you guys. They they kind of toned it down. Um, another thing about the player models with with trying to tone down the busyness of like the armor and and certain forerunner uh, artifacts stuff like that. They tried to smooth it out and and when you smooth out the armor like that you do lose some detail now halo one was an incredible game back when it came out but it does not hold up th to this day and, and even like the the remaster the anniversary that they did made it that made it look better but um uh, you know old school Halo fans have been wanting something that goes back to the Halo 1, 2, and 3. And it looks like 343 was listening. Uh, but after that, I definitely want to see what this game is going to look like with the ray tracing. And, you know, out there in social media, out there, even in the comment section, I know I'm going to have people kind of just yelling Xbox this and then, you know, and just saying that it's it's blind kind of like allegiance to a platform but it, it, it's really not I'm, I'm telling you exactly what i'm seeing here the same way with uh the ratchet and clank gameplay um i saw like missing assets in in the ray tracing and stuff like that i will i will point all that stuff out i really feel like the two main issues with the gameplay that we saw here was first off no ray tracing which is completely disappointing that it will not be ready when this game launches with the Series X. And 343 is listening to the old school Halo community. So hopefully those guys are excited. Again, I am looking forward to this in terms of the campaign um, to get into how much you can explore, what you can find, uh, you know, how, how far off the beaten path I can go. And, and discover things. That's I'm really excited about that. Uh, I love the way the world looks when it comes to the density, the wildlife, so, you know, and all those things. Um, again, when it comes to the player models, I, I think they are going to look a, a lot better when the game comes out. And then ray tracing wise, I think that's when this game is really going to look insane. All in all, brand new engine. You know, building these assets from the ground up. I know a lot of people are like, well, this game took five years. Well, they had to build an engine and then they had to create all these assets. I can't see anything in here that would be like, oh, they're using like uh, the Halo 5 like plasma uh, plasma grenade or, or any of the weapons. Um, they modeled some of the weapons from earlier Halos, but I don't see anything here where it's like, you know what? They're just using rehashed assets from an Xbox One game. They're not doing that. And, uh, you know, big shout out to 343 with that. All in all, I am excited. Uh, 343 said that they do have more coming out in, in the months, you know, leading up to the launch. So I can't wait to see more about it. Very last thing as, as I'm watching, you know, the trailer again as I'm talking to you guys, the pop in. The pop-in is a, a huge thing with me, and you people know that. Like, we, when it comes to this uh, this new generation and talking about SSDs and velocity architecture and all that good stuff, uh, basically eliminating pop-in, seeing the amount of pop-in going on in this gameplay uh, really had me concerned until Aaron Greenberg said, you know what, this is running on a PC. So... Uh, PC does not have that velocity architecture. Uh, it doesn't have that that IO throughput that um, you know people talk about stuff like that. So when it comes to the pop in, I, I have to wait and see uh, if they're gonna release some gameplay actually running on the Series X. And if it still happens when I see that, I will go all in on that. But for now. It's running on PC. It's not running on the hardware, the console hardware. So I, I don't really have too much to say about that yet. But um, guys, hit up the comment section. Let me know down below what you thought about this trailer. I know I'm going to get a bunch of different opinions when it comes down to it. But do you see where I'm saying like that they, they, they really embrace that old school Halo 
community within the Halo community in, in terms of the way this game looks and whatnot. And let me know what you think about that because, um, you know, I was really, I was really happy with Halo 4's story. I was really happy with Halo 5's multiplayer. And, and now they're bringing back that kind of like that, that sense of exploration um, from Halo 1. But with that, they are bringing some of the aesthetics back to the game as well. I want to know what you guys think about that. And as usual, guys, if, if you like the topic, uh, you like the gameplay, or you know, you're just interested in what I have to say, definitely, definitely hit that thumbs up button and definitely subscribe to this channel. I have uh, more plans when it comes to this YouTube channel that I will be announcing soon. I'm really, really excited about those. So uh, it, it is a really good time to get in and subscribe. But yeah, that's pretty much my video for now. So, you know, as for now, this is the Xbox 448. And I am definitely signing off. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and double it. Cause I got problems on problems.